is up, beautiful readers? It's Sky, and we're back with another video. How's it going? I hope you're having a good day, night, week, wherever you find yourself in the world today. I'm so excited to be filming this video because we are going to be doing a fun little tag. And before I get into the tag, I just wanted to thank Amanda over at Book Lover Amanda. She is the one who actually tagged me in this video. So thank you, Amanda. If you haven't already, go subscribe to her channel. She is so awesome. And, you know, she's the first person I actually started watching on Christian Booktube. And it's just been so nice to meet her and get to know her. She's amazing. Uh, just a wonderful person, wonderful friend. And I'm so thankful to know her. So go subscribe. Thanks again, Amanda. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get into this tag. The, the, the best thing about this tag, honestly, is the questions. Because when I was watching her video, I was like, oh, I would love to answer these. So we're going to go ahead, get right into it, start this video. Bada bing, bada boom. We're done. <music> The first question in this tag is five recent five star reads. Boy, am I excited. So with these five star reads, I'm not going to go too much in depth on what they're about. I've talked about them ad nauseum, some of them on my channel. So if you're interested, you can check out a TBR or a wrap up or a vlog there and there. I just kind of want to get through what these books are. So I'm going to start with the two books that I do not own that I've read. Well, I own one of them. It's just out with a friend. Uh, the one that I do not own that I actually went in from my library is uh, Mission Possible by Tim Tebow. It's all about creating a life that counts. This book is a Christian nonfiction all about uh, embracing God's purpose for you and what that looks like in your everyday life. And it was just amazing. Highly recommend. I also recently read The Masterpiece by Francine Rivers and such a good story. Uh, that one I own, but it's actually being lent out to a friend. So that's why I don't have it with me. Highly recommend that book. And then I have three books here that I have talked about on my channel. Uh, I have Persuasion by Jane Austen. Amazing. I read this because I wanted to watch the Netflix movie, but I also wanted to just read another Jane Austen because I've only read Pride and Prejudice. And I absolutely love this one more because I related to Anne Elliot, a heroine in this story. She's amazing. I just related to her so much and her relationship with Captain Wentworth. I can't wait to read this again. Then, of course, I have The Extraordinary Deaths of Mrs. Kipp. I have a book review of this on my channel. I'll link it in the cards. Amazing book. I cannot say enough about it. Annotated it to the nth degree, and I can't wait to read this again either. This is Sarah Brunsvold's first novel, her debut novel, and it's amazing. So I will be picking up whatever she writes moving forward. And then, of course, the most recent recent five star is Wistress by Nadine Brandis and I, I still I don't know how to say her. Brandis Brandis sorry girl um but again annotated to the nth degree I just you know I love this book I have pretty much a whole 40 minute vlog dedicated to this book and I will be uh, filming a book review for this and you might see that over the weekend so Yep. The next question in this tag is one that's really hard because I love so many authors, but I think this list has changed uh, since like the last year or two. And so four is four auto buy authors. And okay. 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 Oh boy. Um, <laughs> I can say Sarah Brunsvold is one. I will say now Nadine Brandis is one. Um, Veronica Roth used to be one, but not anymore. I didn't really like Carve the Mark and all that stuff. It wasn't really my favorite. Uh, I like Anne Blankman. Anne Blankman, if you guys don't know, wrote the Prisoner of Night and Fog duology. Um, and I have all of her books up to this point. But Prisoner of Night and Fog duology was so impactful for me. And I've purchased all the year over the books. I just haven't read them yet, which I know is bad. But, uh, yeah. If you don't know, that duology is about a, uh, girl is historical fiction the girl is of course not real but she is a niece of adolf hitler and she ends up falling in love with a jewish reporter in the world war ii era and it is the most heart palpitating gut-wrenching beautiful story and yeah love that and then also low-key i think francine rivers i mean she's just the goat so that's like obvious but 
every book of hers that I've read, I've absolutely adored, absolutely adored. And the only ones that I haven't read are, uh, well, besides like the, the older ones, but I haven't read uh, The Lady is Mine and Bridge to Haven. So, but probably Francine, let's be honest. Let's be honest, it's probably Francine. Okay, the next question is three favorite genres and oh boy, uh, fantasy for sure is probably my top. I love fantasy, like fantasy dystopian kind of, just gets gets the gears going, gets the brain thinking, and I just, I love it. I guess the next one would be kind of like a mythological, like fairy tale retelling. I don't know, like anything that's retelling a popular or old timey story or, or folklore or anything like that, I absolutely adore. So I would say that's like, if that's all a genre, like a fairy tale, folklore, mytho mythological retelling, that would be the second genre. And the third, probably just Christian fiction in general. Um, yeah, those would be my top three. Fantasy, mythological folklore retellings, and then just like Christian fiction in general. For me, I encompass like uh, romance, fantasy, like Christian fiction to me is its kind of own thing. Uh, but those would be my three. Two favorite places to read. So I actually do have two. One would be my couch right here. I just enjoy being on my couch, turning on the candles and my little ambiance on the TV. But you know, oddly enough, I do like to read in an airport and I don't know why. I feel like it's just so exciting and exhilarating to like take your book with you and just read it in the airport while you're waiting to get on the plane. I do read on the plane sometimes, but it's hard for me to because I feel like I'm bothering the other person because they're trying to sleep and I'm over here with an open book, especially if the flight is at nighttime. But I love reading in an airport. It just makes the time go by so much faster. It makes the plane ride go by so much faster. So yeah, I love to read on the plane. Anybody else? The last question is one book that you promised to read really soon and y'all ready for this? <laughs> you see this bad boy? This is A Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is a tome of a fantasy. And this is definitely um, something that fantasy readers kind of gatekeep in a sense. I mean, there's just so much conversation around this book. And I actually will be buddy reading this with Chrissy over at Chrissy's Purple Library for the month of November. So be on the lookout for that because in November, y'all see how thick this thing is um this probably will be the only book that i read <laughs> uh no but seriously i and this is the 10th anniversary edition i got it from barnes and noble and it's just it's stunning and i love sprayed edges and there's like letters in there and then i was showing chrissy this but in this it has uh pictures as well if i could I want to. oh this is cute they're like looking at the stars I'm excited to read this. I just, I love fantasy, so, and Chrissy got me on that hob tip, so, I mean, just look at this. Ah, so, I'm so looking forward to reading this. That is going to be it, guys. Super short, easy tag, so much fun to film. If you have read, talked about, heard about, or, or seen any of the books or authors that I mentioned in this video, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to discuss that with you. As for who to tag, honestly, y'all, if anyone's watching this who has a booktube, uh, do it, film the video, but then let me know that you filmed it because I want to see everyone's answers to this because I feel like it's a great way for us to learn about new books, especially books that other people have liked, new authors. I love to understand why someone would auto buy an author because auto buying an author is like a big deal, you know? You drop a book, you get in my money. So that's a huge deal, especially in this economy. So if you have a booktube channel and if you're seeing this and you're watching this, let me know if you do the 54321 book tag. I tag you uh, and then link the video in the comments and I would love to go and watch it and see your answers. Thank you so much again for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy all the books that you've been reading this month and I will see you in the next video. Bye friends.